All right, in this geek tip, I'm going to show you how to use another one of my favorite applications, Command Prompt and its companion open command window here. The Command Prompt is a feature of Windows that comes from the MS-DOS days, which allows you to run tasks without a graphic user interface. So what I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to show you how to get up get to a command prompt so there are three ways to run it with user permissions just your standard user permissions two of them involve using the start button start menu so let's go up here to the start button we'll go to all programs we'll go up to accessories and we'll bring up the command prompt there then we can or we can bring it up going to the search Type in the first few letters of it, and you'll find it comes right up here on top. And there's the command prompt. Or, you can do it the third way. And that is by going into Windows Explorer. And we can actually find a... Let's go down here. We'll do something unique. Well... Normally, if you right-click, you get this menu, okay? If you hold down the Shift button and do the right-click, you'll get a few extra commands over here on the context menu. One of them is open command window here. Now, you're asking, you know, what can I do with the command window? One of my favorites is I like to get the actual uh, listing of all the files in a directory. Now, sometimes you need it for a script, sometimes you need it to put inside of a, a document or something. Sometimes you, you just need a list of folders and files. And the quick way to do it for me is just by using a simple directory command. I'm just going to right click inside here. I'm going to mark and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull across like that. I'm going to hit the enter button. I'm going to go to run notepad and we'll drop that in there like that very simple very easy way of of, uh, of obtaining a written list of files and folders this is just one of the many in uh, uh, elaborate commands you can actually do with a command prompt another reason you might want to use the command prompt is to be able to run uh, command line switches on setup programs. This requires an administrator command prompt. You can only get that the two d ways off of the start menu. You do the all programs, accessories. This time you right click on the command prompt as they run as administrator. And there we go. Or you can actually do the same off of the search. Type in the first few letters, come up here, right click on it, run as administrator, try that you there we go. Now, like I was telling you, you may want to do some command line switches. So let's go ahead and want to show you real quick. I've actually got a CD in here. quick whenever you have you want to find out if there's any command line arguments or switches or syntax you can use you use the forward slash question mark so let's go ahead and do that and there it's telling us that there are two different we can actually use from the command line and if we want to invoke these properly on a setup or an exe we do have to do it with administrator privileges so that is um, the one of the uses for an administrator command prompt so for more geek tips you can go over to geeksinphoenix.com and uh, browse through our uh, 
pretty extensive collection of tips. Until then, I'll talk to you later.